Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a fun little video. I'm gonna be filming what I got my kids for Easter for 2021. As you guys know, we live in sunny Southern California and I have a teenage son and a four-year-old daughter. So teenagers, sometimes it can be hard to figure out what to put in their Easter baskets. My four-year-old is a little bit um, easier, but my teenage son can be a little difficult. So I hope this video gives you guys some ideas of things that you can add to your little one's baskets. So let's start off. So for Easter, I try to be, I try really hard to be minimalistic with candy that I give them. They still do get some sweet treats, but I try not to give them a ton of candy and I try not to give them a ton of Toys. Of course, my teenager doesn't play with toys, but Christmas has just passed a few months ago. They got a lot of toys and a lot of things. So I try to actually put things in their basket that they can use and that will be useful for them. So the first thing that I always add to my kids' Easter basket is swimwear. So for my son, I went to Nordstrom's Rack and like I said, he is a teenager, so I grabbed these swim trunks. That is the brand Ripped Curl. They are in different shades of blue. I like the little gray on top. I just thought I like the length. He likes the longer length. I just thought this would be really cool. They have the tie, the black tie in the front, but these are great. And we will be going on a little um, vacay during spring break during that time, so these will be great for him to use at the pool. For my daughter, I like to throw swimwear in there as well, and I got her this color. They actually kinda match. Um, this is a little mermaid swimsuit. I thought it was really cute. I know she's obsessed with tutus, ruffles, all of that, so I know that she is going to love the little tutu on it. Um, my son's was from Nordstrom's Rack. It was about $29, close to $30. Um, Brooklyn's is from uh, Target, and it's the Cat and Jack brand, and it is $11.99. The back is open. It has a little darling bow, and I just think it's super cute. And it has snaps on the bottom for easy pottying. And then to go along with her swimsuit, I found this Little Mermaid cover-up that I thought was so stinking cute. Um, this was, my Target has like that, one of my Targets has that Disney section. So this was in the Disney section. It was a little bit pricey. It was $26.99, but I got it in a size up. She's four, so I got it in a five so she could wear it this year and next. But it's just the Little Mermaid. And I like the sequence on there, the zippered front, the hoodie, and then when we're on vacation, she's gonna get to wear this at the pool. And then it has a little mermaid there and flounder and some flowers. And the back is just plain and it has a little darling ruffle on the bottom. I just thought this was really cute and I know she's going to love it. She loves Disney princesses, she doesn't have that many items that are the Little Mermaid, so I know she's gonna love that. And then, I, to go along with that, I got her these shades. They are Cat and Jack as well. And the side is like that. Um, they were just $5. Super duper cute, and these are gonna be so cute in her Little Mermaid getup. And I got one more thing. I also, while I was at Nordstrom's Rack, I picked up these little jellies. And these aren't necessarily just for the pool. She can wear them all the time, but they are mini Melissa's. They were from Nordstrom's Rack, so they are originally like $60, but I got them for $34.97. So not super cheap, but they smell glorious. If you know anything about little Melissa's, mini Melissa's, sorry, they have... Look at that cute little bow inside. The cushioning is so good. And then look at the cute little pearls on the side. And this is just Velcro. So easy for your little ones to slip on and off. She's gonna love these. How cute is that? And in the 
back. Just the rubber. But yeah, these are super comfortable and they're so stinking cute. So, um, I headed on over after um, Nordstrom's Rack and I took a trip to DSW. My son, he has a regular backpack. He's gonna be heading back to school, but he needed a new water bottle to put in the side of his backpack. So I picked up, you guys know his obsession with Adidas, this Adidas one, and I absolutely love this kind of aqua color. It has a black top. And it's just really cute. This was like $25 for D from DSW. And I know that is pricey, but it is metal inside. So it will keep hot things hot and cold things cold. But yes, I know $26 is a bit pricey for a water bottle. But he is an older guy. My, um, and I know this will last long. And then also from DSW... He likes to carry these little kind of drawstring bags. This one has a zipper. This was only $18.99, but he likes to carry these when he's like not in school, if he's going to a friend's house or something like that, or going to stay the night. He'll throw a few clothing items in here, and he likes to carry these. Or if we're going on a road trip, he likes to put like his things in his little bag. So, um... It has a little zipper. It's that Adidas brand. It was only $18. It has the drawstring. The back, back is just that flat black. And it is good size. And he can fit like all of his electronics, headphones, all of those things in here when we are going on a trip. So I thought that was good for his um, Easter basket. Along with that, um, this I picked up from Nordstrom's Rack. If you have a teenager, they are always like in the need to charge things. So I got this wireless charger. He has a few of these. This one was $12.97, but you can just, and it's compatible with his phone. You wanna make sure it's that, but um, the phone just sits on top of it. And you can charge. He's always running out of battery for his phone, so I thought this was good, and it's just in that flat matte black. And then um, Brookie's stocking, because summertime, we're always, I got her this little portable bubble machine. I thought that was really cute. It was just a few dollars. She needed some more Play-Dohs. We're always running out of Play-Dohs, so I got this Play-Doh. It's um, glittered, glittered Play-Doh, so I thought that would be really fun and cute. Of course, summertime, you always need to replenish your chalk, and this one is a unicorn chalk that I thought was super cute, and I know that she is going to love, and this was just a few dollars as well. She's obsessed with hand sanitizer these days, so this one is like from the dollar store. It's a unicorn hand sanitizer, so she can hook it onto her backpack or her purse. And then just a few sponges for the shower. These were a few dollars as well. And there's three sponges in here. There's a star, a cloud, and a little rainbow. And I thought that was really cute for her to use in the bath. So that is kind of it for items. And I'm going to get into candy that I got the kids. So each kid, I got a Kinder um, egg. Um, bunny thought that's really cute for their stocking so each kid would get one of those i got four of these kinder joy eggs the toy ones i will give to brookie and then the other ones i will give to my son so we'll split them up two and two for my son i got he loves the sour patch kids but these are like easter themed so i pick those up and then in the eggs this year, I just got two little bags of candy that I will stuff um, candy into. And then also, like I said, my son, I put money in his. I don't really put money in Brookie's, but maybe she has a piggy bank and she collects coins. So maybe I'll put some coins in those. But I just got these little pastel colored kisses. My kids love those. And then these little pastel colored Kit Kats. But that is it. That is everything that I grabbed for my kids' Easter basket 
baskets for 2021. I hope it gave you some ideas. I know, like I said, those teenagers can be hard to buy for, but I think I got some things that he will actually use and love. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.